Hi y'all, my name is Somalia. I make R&B soul music. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I'm from Atlanta. And I am here with my best friend, Ashley. And we're gonna get into some girl chat about my new project, A Soft Place to Land. Absolutely. Somalia, I first want to give you your flowers. You are my best friend. We've met each other in middle school in yes. science class. With Miss Williams. Yes. And we literally had a love for Chris Brown. We did. And that's literally what brought us together. Yes. And I am really just proud of you, just from the 11 year old girl to the 28 year old. Yes. You were just like everything as a friend, a sister, um, an aunt, just, you know, just any friend, you know, shit that I feel like. You're every person that I feel like I can go to, literally. Friend. I first want to dive into and get into it like we do on the phone. Okay, because let me just... We haven't grown Let me just... Let's get close. Because... I really okay. want to ask you, who is the Somalia show? I've seen you in so many spaces from the beginning to when we first met each other from... Lord, oh my God. California. We, we, was, <laughs> we, we were everywhere. We were doing yes. a lot of things. So but I've seen you in different spaces. I've seen you writing music you know i've seen you going and putting yourself out there and auditioning for music shows all the things um i've seen you um perform live we've gone on tour yeah um yes we've gone on tour we were bouncing around new york dc yes and we had a good time so i really love the evolution of the somalia show and that brand mm -hmm. so how do you feel like the Somalia show has changed from the 11 year old when I first met you to the 28 year old today. Yes, oh that is such a good question. I feel like young Somalia was just looking for inspiration from so many different places. As you know, I love Sierra, I love Beyonce. Mm -hmm. You know, we grew up with Cherish. We grew up with yeah. these good singing R&B artists. And I think I was just reaching for trying to figure out where did I like fall in that yeah and um i think so from from that age to now i feel like i feel way more secure mm -hmm. in the type of music that i make as well as like just where i'm at i think as a woman and as a person mm -hmm. people ask have asked me like you know did did i see myself being where i am now mm -hmm. and i was like you know coming out of high school i thought i was gonna go straight into music i was yeah. gonna be on about. disney chat right and like now as a grown woman looking at it i'm like I wasn't even ready for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was not, I feel like as a woman, especially in the entertainment, like music industry, you have to be able to like express your boundaries. Exactly. And I was not even in a position like mentally to even do that. So I'm so glad that I've gone through everything that I've gone through that I have, you know, just this grit and this yeah. hustle. Yeah. I feel like that's, that's, that's grown over the years. You know, like you've seen me I've do seen all it. of the things mm -hmm. and still be there like to support mm -hmm. and like, show up for my community and I feel like that's that's another thing that's like evolved like yeah. with the Somalia show I feel like when people see me they see vibrancy they see energy they see love they mm -hmm. feel like um it inspires them to want to keep going and growing mm -hmm. so I feel like that's kind of what like has evolved within the Somalia show outside of just music you know and I feel like over time I have seen you give your 100% every time you do anything, whether it's a project, whether it's you going on tour, I don't care what it is, like you're always giving 100% and then you show up for your friends, like you said, I had to piggyback off of that because you always show up and support your family and your friends. Every time I call you, I'm like, girl, what you doing? Oh, girl, I'm with my mom. <laughs> yeah. girl, I'm taking my sister here. Mm -hmm. I'm with, you know, the family. Yes. I'm showing up to the birthday. And all while doing that, I wanted to tie in balance. Work-life balance. Yes. I think that people miss, like, what truly happens, like, on the in inside. Like, in the, yeah. like behind closed doors. Yeah. Like, no what facts. you're doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know you work a nine to five. Okay and you do your music yes okay mm -hmm. you do all the things yeah so how does that tie into work-life balance how do you have time for your family how do you have time for your friends yes your career Ooh. and your music career yes tell me about it oh definitely prayer definitely setting Bless attention it. 
<laughs> Y'all, that is our word. Bless it. Put, put, lay hands on it. God, I'm going to show up. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be present. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's that being intentional. And then also just like going back to boundaries, being able to say no. Exactly. Sometimes I can't do this and I can't do that at the same time. I can't be everywhere at the same time. Lord knows I'm working on my time. I'm working on trying to be on time. Ladies, Last we time. have to be on time. So on time. I feel like I've definitely, um, you know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, but expressing clear boundaries and then also just showing up and trying to be present with whatever it is that you are doing I feel like is really important okay okay and we talk about that all the time I feel like the number one thing that we do mm -hmm. is talk about boundaries yes right we do and I also want to get into this project yes okay I definitely have to ask a question about a soft place to land mm -hmm. I will say out of any of the projects that you have done this is probably the most special because me personally, I know you yeah. and I know the things that you've gone through. Mm -hmm. I've seen you evolve. I've seen the things that you've gone through in the background and you're sharing that little tidbit with your audience, with your fans, with your family and your friends. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk about your healing journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I specifically want to talk about, you know, the, the songs that you've done. Mm -hmm. And I know that some of those songs deal with breakup. They deal with dating. Yeah. They deal with love. Yeah. And I just want to add, like, this project has a lot of those things. Yes, it does. It's a combination of it all of them. It is all things. of them. Yeah. So what advice would you give women who are going through a breakup, who are trying to navigate their healing process? Yes. I think when creating this project, I literally wrote it from a place of brokenness. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you listen to the project from beginning to end, it's literally the, the process of grief. Mm -hmm. Even from a place of not realizing that this is what's happening to me, mm -hmm. to anger, to sadness, mm -hmm. to denial, mm -hmm. all of the things. And I just feel like for women who are in that place of their life, like it's reaching. Sometimes it's just holding on to a thread. I love mm -hmm. Sarah Jakes, Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts because there's certain things that I've listened to from her. She's like, sometimes you just gotta reach for a thread. Mm -hmm. If the thread is a podcast, if the thread is music, mm -hmm. if the thread is talking to your best friend on the phone for hours, mm -hmm. if the thread is prayer for hours, like whatever that thread is, I feel like you need to grab that thread and hold on to it. Because when you're in those spaces where you don't, you know, you feel like you don't know what's coming next or you don't know, like you just have no hope. Right. I feel like holding on to that thread will definitely help you during those times. And honestly, Ash, you, my best friend, my community has been the best for me. Allowing me to heal, allowing me to grow, allowing me to make mistakes, allowing me to be loud and wrong, allowing me to do all the things. And I just feel like I'm just so very grateful for my community and for any woman that's like going through breakups, like just realizing that you're not the only one and reach on your community. Don't don't just code it all to yourself. Like allow it to allow people to love on you and to be there for you and realize that this is not the end. Okay? This it's not, not the end. end. And we talk about that a lot on the phone and I definitely wanted to end that off on just giving you your flowers and seeing that I've I've seen that growth in the past couple of years. And I love you and I think that people will really dive into this project and understand what the lyrics mean. Yes and actually take that as being i'm not the only one yes and i need to lean on my community i need mm -hmm. to lean on that support and i will say i love you for that because you're very transparent you're very open even when the times that you don't want to be i pull that out of you <laughs> and you are literally like every woman like you're just all the things so i love you and i will say people please listen to the uh, soft place to land because this is like very special and I know that it's special to you. Yeah. So I just want to say I love you. This project is phenomenal and you're doing the damn thing. Thank you. I love you.